Pile. So this is the um, DeLorean cold start valve. So on my car it's faulty. So it's um, this one is a Bosch item. Uh, 280, 170, 400 is, is the part number. But there's actually a bunch of other part numbers for the same item for different cars, just for your information. So what this does, is okay, on my car it's faulty. The firmer time switch here. And when the, the, when the coolant is cold, that then causes um, the firmer time switch to basically be operating. And that then means when you turn the car over on the starter motor, um, some, somehow, possibly that relay, but somehow it then powers the wire to this, which then causes the, the um, solenoid inside to open and a, a, a spray of fuel to spray out and spray down the tube here, which is then drawn into the engine via the um, sort of um, the uh, suction basically of, of the engine. So, and then when the car is then hot or warm and you go to restart it later, the firmer time switch is, say, not operational. And that means then that this then won't squirt in additional fuel. So basically it's, it's a cold start. It's the whole point is for it's cold start. So, what I want to look at is, was mine working or not? So, left it in place, connected up 12 volts to these, connected the positive and negative to these two here, did absolutely nothing at all. Checked there was fuel in there, there was, did it again, nothing at all. Took it off, put it onto a battery, um, to literally just connected straight up like that. It does nothing whatsoever, so it's dead. Um, it does just have a little flicker here. Um, of power. I've checked the continuity and there is continuity in there so the electrical circuit we believe is correct but it's just the actual solenoid mechanism inside which is um, not working or it's jammed for example. So what I'm going to do now is now I know this is faulty I'm going to um, soak it in something stronger than petrol so it's basically some sort of um, alloy, some sort of wheel cleaner, brake cleaner, releasing fluid, that type of product overnight plus also start tapping it on the top on the sides, you know, on the bottom, in mean, just well, not too much on the bottom, yeah, that's where the ejector sprays out of, but on here, mainly on the sides and on the top, just give it a tap, so I'll try and release it, because these items here are quite expensive. Um, from DeLorean, no one would ever buy it, but it's like, I think it was 700 pounds, or 800 pounds. Um, couldn't, couldn't, see any, couldn't see any new ones anywhere, because these are, say, for old cars. So there's a bunch of used ones on the internet from sort of 80 to 125, 200 pounds, that sort of mark. But obviously you don't, absolutely know that they're working or not you know you don't, you don't absolutely know that until you get it obviously you can get it you can test it you can send it back of course but um you know I'd, ideally i'd like to sort of buy you know a new one that's you know maybe a, re a reproduction but don't think they're out there but anyway i digress so yeah i'm gonna soak it now and then um if i can get it working i'll do a second part of the video cool cheers Happy days, happy days. Yes, it's actually starting to work now. So what I did is I basically put a bunch of, of um, brake cleaner um, down the end. And then to be honest with you, I just gave it a good old, not not a stupid hammer session, but hammer it enough, you know. So I literally just gave it some knocks on the top, knocks on the side. If I quickly demonstrate if you can see it or not. So excuse the, uh, this sort of level here. You can see that. that sort of level of, of knocking. And that then, that then actually now, when I operate the power, it opens up and obviously the, the uh, brake fluid, so the brake cleaner comes at the bottom. So, again, excuse this awful camera work, but let's put something on fill, there. Put that there. If I, put this, if I connect this up, can you see it all right there? Yeah. So if I stop talking, you can hear that. So you can see the fuel now dripping, so you can see the, the cleaning now dripping at the bottom. But yeah, that sounds perfect. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. Cool. Turn the power off. So yeah, happy days. So that is, that's actually, that's the result because these parts are expensive. So I'm going to give it another spray out now. I'm going to keep on tapping it just to make sure that is actually the optimal 
cleanliness inside the end back on again so i'm really, yeah, really really pleased and that worked spot on so before that did absolutely nothing connecting up the power absolutely nothing so yes result cool any anyway, thanks for watching so i didn't didn't need this in the end just needed a hammer and some carburetor cleaner because obviously this is stronger than petrol basically because the petrol's been sat there for ages but maybe just knocking it on petrol might have done it but that stuff there is the lad cool cheers